It's called IFIFIF, um, which stands for Inspiration of Faith, Influence of Faith and Impact of Faith. Um, the idea being that we want people to explore where they ca came to interfaith work from, look at how they can um, both be influencing of others, but also how they can be influenced, um, and then look about the impact that they can make and look at really positive ways, good practice, um, how they can have the most influence on, hopefully, the decision makers and change society for the better. When you come to a day like this, you realise how massively relevant interfaith dialogue is to local communities. People see the, what, what faith communities bring in terms of, of, of holding together the fabric of a healthy neighbourhood as something that is, that is, is really important. From, from all sorts of different perspectives, we're hearing actually that what faith communities bring in terms of um, their impact to the local community is really, really important. I think this is a wonderful event. I've come from London especially for, to, to see the sessions today and it is so marvellous to walk into a room and see people sharing their common humanity and discussing issues that are of importance to them, to their families, to their communities and treating each other as human beings and friends rather than just focusing on what we have what, what is different about each other. Let's focus on what's the same and, and the challenges that we all have in common. It's inspiring. When, when all faiths get together, people of, of really good nature and good you know, belief and, and strength of belief, then it, it can only be positive. It can only be positive, I think. It's interesting seeing people from different faiths you know, coming together, all of them saying it's good, irrespective of our differences, to work together. And then that inspires, you know, others to go away and say, yeah, I'm not alone. You know, there are many others wanting to work together. It's, it's very good to be able to get together and to meet people who belong to different networks and to be able to link them together um, in a way so that we're more aware of the resources that are around and perhaps become inspired by other people's ideas and what's already going on and to extend that into other places. Well, I think it's a chance to explore what's already happened in terms of how it's inspired people to engage with local communities and so on, and uh, to measure the impact that we've already have in delivery, but also for us to think about taking that into the future and how do we develop that so that we have an even greater impact in the future, inspire more people to be involved in interfaith dialogue, to build more constructive relationships, and to break down some of the barriers which remain, and also, frankly, to challenge the perceptions which exist in wider society about the fact that the faith communities perhaps can't get on together. As an interfaith network, we've been trying to, together, as a coordinated approach, we've, we've talked with the local authority and trying to address some of the needs of the people in the area. I wasn't born in Manchester, but I'm now a Mancunian. It's a city that welcomes you with open arms. And an important part of that welcoming is the way in which the interfaith groups send a clear message that it's not a sectarian city, it's not a divided city, it's an opening and welcoming city. So it's been good to have people here like Richard Wilkinson, who, you know, almost his first statement was, I'm an atheist, but my goodness, how, how wonderful his research is. We were keen on the idea of public spiritedness because we do think that more equal societies, those with smaller income differences, are more public spirited and that's quite important in terms of uh, how we move towards sustainability and so on. They're less consumerist also, that's an important connection. I certainly hope that, that today won't just be a standalone event but that the faith communities will be challenged through what we, we've, we've heard today to actually say, well okay, what do we actually do about this? Today has been a very interesting day really to look at um, uh, interfaith and what it means to people, to different people of different faiths. And what I'm taking away today is more about people getting together, being and doing face to face, side by side, talking about faith.